All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to do our daily Bitcoin and Bitcoin miner update. I want to talk about where we were over the weekend and where I think we're going from here. So we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin miner big board, and then we're going to take a look at the charts because a lot happened over the weekend and it was not necessarily in the right direction. So we were in a nice, nice relief rally and we've pulled back. So I wanna take a look at where we're at and see if I think we're gonna keep pulling back or maybe turn around from here and continue the relief rally. So we cover Bitcoin to Bitcoin miners all the time on this channel. If that is content that you're interested in, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, please remember to smash the like button. It helps the channel out a lot. It gets this video out to more people, and I really appreciate it. So let's talk about Bitcoin. I think we should start on the Bitcoin miner big board. This was a very red day. Let's see what happened. Okay, there was only one thing green on the board today, and actually one thing finished at zero. So you could almost count that green if you want to. So Wolf was up 0.65%. That was in the green. And Core Scientific finished at zero, and it was actually in the green most of the day, as everything else was in the red basically all day long. So some things were extremely red. Stronghold was down 15% today. Mawson, stock ticker MIGI, was down almost 15% today. Hut was down 9% today. So those were the big pullbacks, but there was a lot of five, sixes, and sevens. Right? Hive was down almost 7%. CleanSpark was down 5%. Riot was down 6.6%. Marathon was down 6.8%. So you can see this was across the board. This was a down day, and that made sense because Bitcoin actually did pull back a bunch over the weekend. And really, mostly it was over last night. So I'm going to get to that and review what happened over the weekend and, and see if we can't figure out what might be coming next. So before I go into that, I just want to spend one minute and talk about my thoughts on Bitcoin in the long term. Because I will tell you, I do these daily updates and things change very quickly. As you guys know, in Bitcoin, it is very volatile. So sometimes we have a lot of momentum in one direction. And then you know what? It just stops, turns around and goes the other way. So, so there can be a lot of changes from one Bitcoin update to the next, even when they're on a daily basis. So what I try to do is walk you guys through exactly what I'm looking at versus just telling you, I think it's good or I think it's bad. You know, I show you what I'm looking at and why I think we may be trending in the direction that we're trending in. I just I just want to reiterate that I am a long-term bull for Bitcoin. I think that Bitcoin is just getting going. I think it's still in the very early stages. And I think we're gonna hit numbers that are many, many multiples of where we're at right now. Having said that, I have no idea how long that is gonna take. I think most of us, if you had asked a year ago, we would have thought that we would long since be well past $100,000 and points beyond, but that did not happen. I do believe that will happen over time. So again, just my long-term position remains the same. I have not changed my position at all on Bitcoin from a buy and hold standpoint. However, I am trying to get Give you guys daily updates on what's going on what i think is going to go on over the next you know 48 hours over the next two weeks over the next month so that's what these daily updates are for i just feel like i had to say that because a lot of times people say oh you're flip-flopping this way and that way and things change fast so you know i could do hopium every day but i'd rather not do that i'd rather just show you guys what i'm looking at and what i'm thinking about so that's what I'm going to do. So let's go to Bitcoin on the 15 minute time frame. Okay, so if I go back about 22 hours, there's a purple line right here and we were right at the purple line. As always, there's an orange line and that is where the market closed on Friday. So that's where the equity market closed on Friday. Bitcoin was at 22,586. So even just last night, we were above that. We were pressing against this line that's just short of 23,000. That is the purple line. So that has turned into a bit of a line of resistance. So I'm gonna zoom out for just a second. So you can see this is where we closed on Friday. So over the weekend, we tested this line just under $23,000 once here on the 23rd and then once again here on the 24th. That was about a day and a half apart. Each time we got rejected at this line. So unfortunately it looks like we're setting this line up as some short term resistance. We were hoping to go through this line. You can see on the 20th of July, we were way above that line. We got to about 24,300. Last night we started to take a turn down and then we basically were sideways all through the night, all the way through the open today and most of the day today. We did dip down late in the day and now subsequent to that for the last hour or two, we've seen to rally up a little bit, but all of today's trading is under where we closed on Friday. So. 
Bitcoin was down. Okay, so if we move out to the four hour time frame, there's a few things that we can see. And I will tell you about four or five days ago, I was extremely bullish and I felt that the short term, again, I've been calling this a relief rally. So in a relief rally, we don't know if it's gonna last two days, five days, two weeks, whatever the case may be. So that's why I try to just dig into some of these technicals to see where we may be going. So we were very bullish about four or five days ago. And each of the two or three days after that, still bullish, but you know, we mentioned specifically on the channel that I had less conviction each day the all of the indicators were getting more and more neutral well I do think that some of them have now turned bearish so I think we have a mixed bag but I do think there's still a chance it could be a very short-term bearish move and that this relief really may not yet be over so I do think that both of those possibilities exist and I'm going to show you why so you can see since July 20th which was five days ago basically that was the top of this rally at the moment that was at about 24,300 We've had since then a series of lower highs. We had on the 22nd, we were down at about 23.7. And then again on the 24th, we were down under $23,000. And now obviously we're down lower than that. So we've had a series of lower highs. We've had a series of lower lows, including just a few hours ago when we got down to around 21,500. So that is clearly about five days of bearish activity. Are we having a pause inside of a relief rally that's inside of a bear market? Because we, we definitely still have not left the bear market territory for Bitcoin. So although I am bullish long term, we are in a downturn trend that has not yet turned around. Maybe this is the beginning of that but we have no confirmation of that at all. So at the moment, I have to still call this a potential relief rally. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the RSI on the four hour time frame. We've been paying close attention to this for the last month. I've got three yellow lines here. This is actually a yellow line and then two carbon copies of that line. So you can see Bitcoin has made a similar run in a similar time frame now on the four hour time frame once, twice, three times in a row. Each one of these times setting a higher high on the Bitcoin price. So for the last almost two months, you can see we've had a trend here where we have just been bouncing up and down on the four hour RSI. We did peak on the 20th and now here we are on the 24th, sorry, the 25th. So the question is, are we gonna fill this out and go all the way back to oversold? That is the most likely case scenario. So although I'm gonna present a little bit of a bull case scenario, the potential that we don't have to go through that, this really is probably only about between 24 and 48 hours to fill out the rest of this pattern that has been like clockwork now for a month and a half. So my short-term gut inst instinct tells me that, you know, this has been a very, very clear pattern and it looks like we're two thirds of the way through this down leg. So again, this is maybe 36 to 48 hours of downward pressure and we will be in oversold territory again in all likelihood, at which case we could turn around and have another rally upward. That I think is the most likely possibility. Having said that, you can see that we're in the middle of a green candle, even on this four hour candle. And, and so there is always the possibility like what happened here, we did have a little run down and then we turned back up. So that can happen. We could run up from here, but I, it is much more probable that we run back down to oversold on the four hour time frame. I want to go to the daily time frame and show you what's going on there. Okay, so just a couple of things to point out here. You'll see this is the 200 week moving average, which I've been talking about every day for the last month and a half. So we spent all this time underneath here, a record breaking bear market level for Bitcoin as, as it pertains to the 200 week moving average, right? We've never had a stretch where we were underneath this 200 week moving average for anywhere near this long. We did jump above it for one, two, three, and then four days, and now we've popped back below this. It does definitely look like even on the daily time frame, we are having a pullback. The question is, how far back and can we turn around again? If we can get to oversold on the four hour time frame, somewhere in the neighborhood of when we're still around 50 on the daily RSI, even if that means 49 or 48, if we stick around this 50 mark and we can get to oversold on the four hour, then that would be another potential way that we would have a pretty quick turnaround and continue this relief rally. Because you'll see from this point on June 18th, which was over a month ago, you can see we are still trending upwards on the daily RSI. So that trend has not broken. However, 
once you get under 50 and confirm one or two daily closes under 50, it's likely that your rally is over and you're due for a pullback. And, and once, once it happens on the one day time frame, you may be due for a couple of weeks or a month worth of a pullback. So I am hopeful we're gonna avoid that. I think we still stand a very good chance of maybe 36 to 48 hours of pullback and then a continuation of this relief rally, which as you guys know, if you watch the channel, I've been expecting to get to $25,000 in this relief rally. So we did not quite get there. The reality is the next 36 to 48 hours, to me, look like there's downward pressure. The last thing I'll leave you with is, as we all know, the Fed does their thing on Wednesday afternoon. So before the trading day is over on Wednesday, we are gonna get information out of the Fed, probably a 75 basis point rate hike, possibly a 100 basis point rate hike. So based on what that is, and based on what Chairman Powell has to say after that, that could heavily influence what happens to Bitcoin at least for the next two, three, four days. So I would love to give you a definitive answer, but I'm more neutral than ever. This is, we were all the way back to where we were a month ago, where all of these indicators are fairly neutral. It's a pretty tough call to decide where we're going in the short term from here. So very last thing, we are still at 30 on the fear and greed index, which is fear. So this is a much, much better place. We had a two month historic run in extreme fear on the fear and greed index. We are now seven days into being at or above 30, all of which is in fear. So that's the that's a week outside of this two month of massive bearish activity that we had. So this is another reason why I remain hopeful that the, there's potentially a little bit room left in this relief rally. So if I close out on the 15 minute time frame, we're just a little bit over 22,000 right now, and we're just gonna have to wait and see. So I'm gonna hope for the best, but for now, it looks to me like the pressure is downward in the short term. So again, please remember, this is not financial advice. You guys do your own due diligence and, and make your own buying decisions. And if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.